In this video, we're going to solve a simple interest problem over one year as we attempt to find the interest rate we have invested each in two accounts. John, invest $5,000 in one account and $8,000 in an account that pays 4% more interest. He has earned $1,230 in interest after one year, and we want to know at what rates did he invest. Let's organize everything in our one-year simple interest table, where we take the principal times the rate, written as a decimal, to equal our total amount of interest. We know John invests 5,000 in one account. So let's put 5,000 in the first account, but we don't know the interest rate. Let's call it R. Then he invests $8,000 in a second account, that pays 4% more interest. To get 4% more interest, we're going to have to add it to the first account's interest rate. The first account was just R, so we're going to add 4% to the R. We need to be careful here, though, that that 4% is written as a decimal, 0 0.04. We can now calculate the interest by multiplying the principal times the rate, and we've got 5,000R from the first account, and 8,000R plus 320 in the second account. We're also given a total. The total amount he has earned is $1,230 in interest, so we'll make that 1230 our total in the interest column. As we only have one variable, we only need one equation, which is going to come from that interest column. 5000R plus 8000R plus 320 equals the 1230. We can start solving by combining like terms to get 13,000R plus 320 equals 1230. Subtract 320 from both sides to get 13,000R equals 410. Oops, it doesn't equal 410. It equals 910. That's a little better. There we go. Now when we divide by the 13,000 to get the R alone, we get R, or our interest rate, is 910 divided by 13,000, or 0.07. That is the R that goes with the $5,000. He has invested $5,000 at 7%, changing the rate to a percentage. The other rate is 4% higher, so to get the 4% higher, we can add 4% to that, and we get 11% is the investment at $8,000. We found our solutions by organizing our principles, rates, and interest, expressing the rate as rate plus 0.04, showing the 4% more than the first rate, and then using our total to come up with an equation.